All right, folks, so today's course we're going to review is called Stonewall Golf Course, and it is in in Germantown, North Carolina. It is a small town. Germantown is a small town just north of um, Winston-Salem, about a half an hour north, just over the county line out of Forces of County. And it is actually a more vertical course, um, one of those side of the mountain, side of the hill kind of courses. Uh, it's 5,500 yards from the back tees, and it has a lot of 200, 300-yard uh, holes, par fours, and a couple of 400, 450-yard uh, par fives, but still nothing very long. And there's a couple of, um, uh, there are a couple of reasons why I decided to play this course. Sorry, I'm walking on some straw here. Um, so, but let me just stick to the course. I don't want to make this too much of a story but I would say um, this course is for people who are interested in playing shorter courses that are much more challenging off the tee than most courses and are not necessarily going to be um, upscale, blue collar, definitely nothing like that. It's definitely more of a t-shirt and jeans or t-shirt and shorts kind of course. And it's got a fair amount of difficulty. I won't say that there are, uh, there's ratings online. It's not, it's not uh, in the USGA ratings as far as the actual slope or course rating. It is in there, but it, there's no data. And I, I checked out um, the story behind this and apparently the people who run the USGA website rely on the course uh, managers to supply them with the data. And if they don't supply them with the data, then they don't have the data for the USGA website. So in this case, the um, managers at Stonewall Golf Course have not supplied the USGA uh, staff with the data. And so that was one of the reasons I wanted to go and check it out and see exactly what was going on with it. Because there are some really nice courses in um, North Carolina really very nice challenging courses and then there are some of these courses which are like um, you know uh, side of the barbecue pits uh, compared to you know um, a major chain major uh, interstate chain uh, you don't see anything really uh, you know um, what sort I'm looking for um, impressive at this course to be honest it is a pretty pretty basic course it just happens to have some interesting shots and it does happen to have a low price so it is it was I think it was $25 for um, 18 with a cart during the week and on the weekends and it's the same price I don't even know if they even really have much of a weekend special but in any case it's gonna be under $30 uh, with a cart and you have a um, a series of holes that are sort of carved out of the side of a, of a, a mountain over some rolling hills there's some, a lot of ponds there's a lot of water and nothing really long but it is fairly tight and a lot of the tee shots are from the top of a the hill there's even some from the bottom of the hill you hit up the hill and it does have some good challenges as far as um, hitting good shots off the tee and hitting good approach shots. A lot of elevated greens, a lot of uphill greens, and uh, with some very steep slopes off the side, and but not really brutal. It's not like there's a lot of um, peril in all the all the approach shots or or, um, or even the tee shots. So I think the the main thing is that you have to worry about is just trying to balance between taking a, a very aggressive shot or taking a very safe shot because I, I really think that one of the problems is it does get kind of boring if you're taking all these safe shots and playing you know conservative playing the odds you know you're going to hit a seven iron into the fairway and then hit the seven iron to the green you know you can play that kind of way here if you want to do that or you can take a, a risky approach shot off the tee and you can play that way if you want to do that 
And so um, it's, it's really a, a question of, you know, do you want to go out and take risky shots, you know, or do you want to take safe shots? And where in there do you want to play? Where's the balance? Okay. So the, the, the big thing about this course, I think it is very strong in this particular area in that it has a decent amount of risk available for play, but it isn't so wide that there's lots of recovery room, okay? They even have wooden sticks between some of the fairways to keep people from, you know, going off into another hole and finding their ball and playing it back into um, the hole they're playing now, which, they, which you could do quite easily because it is a fairly um, compressed course. So let's talk about the technical pros and cons of the course. Uh, one of the pros is that there are very few houses. I won't say there are no houses. There is definitely a small apartment, um, two-story apartment uh, section of flats um, that is off of the third hole. Not even really on it, but off of it. And then there's a church and there's the main road that comes off the street. And uh, where the course comes off the main street, there's a couple of houses there. And there are no real houses in sight for 99% of the course. There's just woods back there. You know, you're back there. It's, it's, you know, it's decent enough. It's kind of mellow. You know, it's nothing really too impressive, nothing really too sad. But the course is far enough back in the woods where you're going to hear some gunfire on some of the holes, probably if you're playing early enough during the day or on the weekend. And um, I was back there on, I guess, the 13th hole and, you know, not too far, maybe about a quarter mile or less from some guy in some gun club or something back there. And it wasn't just one guy and one gun. It was a, it was a, a fair amount of guns between pistols and, and semi-autos and so forth. And uh, got a, a good show, at least an you know, audio show in that regard. So... Um, the other thing is that it does not have complete cart pass. It has um, those, it's really, really basic in a sense that it, it'll have a cart path for like the 100 feet or so before and after the tee box, okay? And so it's also pretty vertical in sections. So there are sections of the course where they have to have a cart path because it's just, you know, you, you can't see people out there riding around in the grass but there's also sections where it's flat and it doesn't have a car path there. And that can be a problem when it gets really wet. And it was a problem when I played this weekend because we'd had basically a whole week worth of rain. And so um, it was, I would say, okay. It wasn't great. I've played on worse courses than this. I wouldn't say it was you know, the kind of course where I want to run out and play it. I mean, but it does have its advantages in that it's very close to some people who live in Winston-Salem and it's $25 to play, you know, 18 holes. So it, the, the thing is, I think it's, I think it is really a little tight and a little vertical for most players to play comfortably. You really have to be careful not to get sloppy on this course. It will definitely bite you and it will definitely eat quite a lot of your balls if you're not uh, careful about that. I'm not saying it definitely will, but it can. Uh, the woods are pretty dense off the sides of the fairway and there's not much uh, rough on the course to stop your ball from going in the woods. And in fact, it doesn't even really have to go in um, the dense woods because there's enough leaves and, and uh, pine needles and stuff and clover and whatever there's plenty of places for your ball to hide it doesn't have to go deep in the woods you all you need to do is hit it in the trees or hit and actually there's one hole i think the 17 the fairway itself is long enough and there's uncut there's parts of it you can see that are really sloped and it's uncut and the clover out there um is just too thick to go looking for balls unless you're walking and happen to stumble on it you know you're just not going to find your ball and so it's it's not the easiest course to play. It it does have teeth. Um, the good thing about it is it does have some good shots. There's some the good challenging tee shots and some good, um, uh, you know, um, res I guess risk reward shots out there. So it is definitely worth playing. There's no question about it. 
the greens are a little bit uh, slow, definitely. They're a little thicker than most. The grass has grown real well on it, and you know it's in great condition. I wouldn't say the greens are 100% condition, but they're in decent condition, especially considering the nature of the course. And they're, they're slow. You can go out there and, and you know bang balls around without too much trouble. And two putt, they're pretty easy to two putt. So it's not a bad course at all. Um, and they have a nice enough, it's not a, a great, but it's a nice enough uh, pro shop with, you know, um, the guy that works there is pretty, pretty cheerful. And uh, nice carts, gra you know, gas carts still, but nice enough carts. It's not a bad experience. I would say this, that for the same money, there are definitely much better courses around here. But still, they are easier courses to play than this course. This course, I would think, definitely should be rated something like a, a 140 from the back tees. It's, it's not hard, not really long, but you just don't have a lot of room for error off the tee. You, you, need to, you need to put balls in play and you need to get the balls up on the green. The easiest part is getting the balls up on the green. The hardest part by far is getting out on in play consistently off the tee. Uh, no question about it that that is a challenge on this course and it's, it's um, you know, the, the fact that it's not long, the fact that it's not long does inspire uh, players to be over uh, anxious, over greedy, <laughs> over ambitious off the tee and try to hit driver and long drivers and put them in the fairway, you know, like 50 yards or, or so off the greens and then, you know, miss hit the ball, literally just miss hit the ball and send it spiraling off into the woods. And it even so, even when it's not, they're trying to hit the world's best driver, you know, something, it's still tight enough that even off the tee, it can be a challenge because you don't have as much room off the tee as most, as you do on almost like 99% of the courses I've played will have a lot more room off the tee and therefore you have more room to get the ball into the fairway. And, and you, find, you find that without that room, that it's a lot harder to get shots in play. It's, it's that simple. And um, so, so um, I think it has a lot of value in that regard. It's, it's a, I think it's a good reminder that um, people shouldn't always consider playing on wide open fields, you know, just basically a, a plowed field. Maybe they have some trees in there, and, and, but basically you know, it's like a large um, field that you have to play on. Sometimes it's good to play on these tighter courses. It's just a good thing. I, I think it's a good variety. And I enjoyed it. It definitely thought it was a, a fun alternative. It probably would be even more fun the second time or third time I played it because I would be more familiar with the course and there's some tricks to the course. Um, it's very easy to overplay some holes because they're a lot shorter than you think. You have to be, you know, it's again one of those situations where you have to be careful to actually read the yardage off the tee box, off the, uh, they, have a, they have really good signs there in every hole that tell you the whole layout and what they don't have is yardage markers. A lot of, I think one of the big problems with this course is it doesn't have yardage markers out in the, in the fairway on most of the holes. And, and even when you have a blind shot, there's not much in the way of a, um, a target for where to hit. It, it is a kind of course where I think you get more value out of playing it the second time than you would out of playing it the first time just without having any idea of what the course actually is like. But it's not impossible to play, you know, just off the off the bat and walk out and play it. Anyway, so it's still too windy out here. That's still more golf course. I'll give it a B minus. I think a B minus would be a generous score for this course. It it is different. It has its strengths and its weaknesses. And uh, next to most courses, does not have a driving range, and it is not. Um, very busy. I think most of the time you'll be able to just come out and get on the course without too much trouble. But be warned that the guy who runs the course does tend to close the pro shop around five o'clock um, and go out and play himself. So you, you'll come there and it will be locked, you know, and uh, 
the parking lot will be full of cars and they'll be out, especially if they have an outing or something, some kind of group thing that they do. The first day I played, they had a group thing and he closed pro shop at five o'clock and um, didn't come back until like six or seven. So don't get there too late. Anyway, that's Stonewall Golf Course in Winston-Salem, North Carolina.